India has a history of chronic power shortages. In 2013, much of the north of the country was hit by the world's biggest power cut, leaving hundreds of millions stranded in darkness. Power is often rationed, forcing businesses and households to rely on expensive diesel backup generators. But India doesn't lack for energy resources. The country has plentiful coal supplies and its mineral-rich eastern states like West Bengal and Jharkhand. Its problem is that it can't dig that coal up fast enough. I'm standing in an enormous hole in the ground, up to 100 meters deep and two kilometers by four kilometers wide. The machine behind me is clearing rock, making the hole bigger, underneath which is coal. This is the sort of mine that India's government thinks is going to increase production all around the country. This open cast mine is run by Coal India, the world's largest miner by output, which has a near monopoly on Indian coal production. But Coal India has a reputation for inefficiency, with a legacy of missed targets and stagnant output. The new government of Narendra Modi has set about trying to change this, giving Coal India a stiff target to double its output by 2020 to nearly 1 billion tonnes. Sutirta Bhattacharya, Coal India's chairman, says he can reach this goal by investing in new technologies and increasing output at the company's largest open cast mines. Our approach will be to get much more quickly into accessing the resources like land, getting quicker clearance system in place, see the projects that completed much faster and introduce higher productive technology to produce more coal than we are producing before, say from the same area. Mr. Bhattacharya says Coal India will invest more than $1.9 billion next year in new mines and rail infrastructure, and hopes also to link up with foreign mining companies to improve productivity. We think that if all of us work collectively, things will have to be doable. It is a tough target, no doubt about it. But all of, uh, all of us will have to become tougher and get going. A.K. Mishra is general manager at Jandra, India's largest underground mine in the Rani Ganj coal fields of West Bengal. He says his mine is investing in new technology to dramatically increase its output over the next few years, providing a model that the rest of India could follow. In underground mine, uh, we are going big way uh, from conventional method to uh, mass production technology. We are uh, buying a lot of uh, continuous miners and this is the pilot project for long run in India. After success of this mine, I will try another mine. So I'm standing here in West Bengal in front of a gigantic machine called a surface miner, which costs millions of dollars ripping up coal from the ground in an open cast mine. The days of Indian mining, the olden days in which people carried coal out of mines, on baskets on their heads are long gone. But now India's government hopes that machines like this in mines like these can double the country's production of coal by 2020. And it's going to be a difficult task. To get close to Mr. Modi's 1 billion ton target, Coal India will need plenty of help. The company needs quick government environmental clearances to expand and more investment in rail capacity to help it deliver coal around the country. Its heavily unionized and strike-prone workforce is another big obstacle. But there's no getting around coal's crucial importance to India's economy. So if the target is missed, India's hopes of sustaining rapid future growth may not be met either. James Crabtree, The Financial Times, in West Bengal.